Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive So now we've got all of the front of the shower cleaned. Mm -hmm. It's looking brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. To get both the sides finally done now. Yeah. It's just... really starting to come together. So the next thing we need to turn our attention to is the second staircase, mm -hmm. which it's... Mm. I don't think it's as bad as that one. I mean, no. that had quite a few where the stones we had to take out completely and put them back in, didn't we? But I think the major one's going to be the bottom one. Yeah, just this um, one. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's, it's not too bad. I think you're going to clean all the cement out first are you yeah so i'm gonna yeah. well i'll give them a power wash now um just to get all of the dirt off them and then after that we can go along chip all the old yeah cement, cement out, off yeah and then it'll give us the new grooves to put the new um we'll do lime and cement and mm -hmm. um, reason we're doing that is just so we can get the right color color combination yeah yeah you did so, it on that one and it worked brilliant didn't yeah, it the color is perfect yeah. we know obviously it loses the properties of the lime we're not using it for that we're using it just purely so we can get the right color match mm -hmm. so yeah and we know obviously that the cement's going to be nice and strong so yeah, it it's worked on that side so hopefully it'll work on this side. side yeah so yeah so we're just going to go along the same process cleaning so obviously we'll just jet wash it off so we've already done that anyway, so it's not looking too bad. So mm -hmm. we'll probably be able to go straight on with the hydrochloric acid. Yeah, leave that on for a bit and then wash it off. Wash it off, yeah. Mm -hmm. Once that's done, then we can get the sides done and start chipping away all of the... Mm -hmm. sand and cement. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, all the old cement and then start pointing again. Yeah. And Back then... to my old tricks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think to get both of them done then, it's going to look absolutely amazing yeah. to get mm -hmm. both the staircases. Well, we've got the windows coming in about three weeks, something like that, is it? Yes. Somewhere but... around then. So once they're in, oh God, it's just going to look fantastic. Yeah. Hopefully then once the top windows are in, we'll be able to take the scaffolding down mm -hmm. because we won't need it in for the bottom ones and we can start to readjust it to try and start getting the tower done yeah. before winter. Yeah. 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 I think to get it all cleaned, ready for winter, it'll be amazing. Nice and clean for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll crack on now we'll get our stuff sorted mm -hmm. and hopefully by the end of the episode we'll have two beautiful staircases mm, lovely right go on, Come on then
So I've got the stairs cleaned and got the first coat of hydrochloric acid on and it's not looking too bad to be honest. Obviously still a couple of marks here and there. So just gone over with another coat to try and clean that a lot off. And even the top part, which is quite dirty, is looking brilliant. So I just need to rinse this second coat off, but I've also done around the doorway. So hopefully we can get around the little doorway looking nice as well and then it'll just push us on to get the whole of the tower done if we get that. So yeah, you would have seen while I've been putting the hydrochloric acid on, it sort of like bubbles up and that's because it's eating away at the cement. Um, what it does it just takes like a little thin coating off, um, which that's what's obviously helping while we're doing the walls and around here as well it's just taken like all the dirt off really because it's just taken that one tiny little coat off so it's helping here as well because all of the cement that's on the joints we're going to be taking off um just because they look a bit messy so we'll take those off and put on your one so at least all of the color of the joints matches as well so i'll get these all cleaned now and then crack on with doing that once it's dry
just unreal. It really is unreal. Yes. Yeah. Just seeing all of the dirt actually come off, mm -hmm. it's like it's so satisfying to see it. And to be honest, you don't realise just how dirty it actually is. No, um, no well, it's just how we've always seen it, isn't it? Well, yeah, we've just grown to get used to it, and probably you as well. You've just sort of got used to the the colour of the chateau, mm -hmm. and you never realised just how it's supposed to look. <laughs> oh, and to think we were going to leave it like that at the beginning, we're like, no, we're not going to clean it. We we like the colour of it. We just keep it like that. Yeah. Which one of the things you've done? You do a little spot, and yeah. you just have to keep going. Yeah. And the whole thing is now going to be the whole thing. And I'm glad we didn't do it. Yeah. Just like you can see, obviously, in the video where I'm working along, I'm just. Going along, li <laughs> literally like Terry did get a bit carried away. Like, did, was yeah. like every little, every little spot, ma'am. Come on, we need to go back to that. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, it is. It's it's looking amazing. Now we've got both sides cleaned and both of the stairs cleaned. It's just looking fantastic. Yeah, it's it different buildings. It's tremendous. And I think some of the exciting stuff we've seen. We've had photos this week, haven't we, of the history oh, of the chateau? God. Yeah. yeah. Well, we posted those on our Facebook and Instagram page, so check them out. You should be able to see some of the original pictures, mm -hmm. which are just absolutely amazing. And mm -hmm. she used to gleam. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But even people that have seen them are picking out loads of little tiny details, yep. like the flagpole that was there. Yep. Um, we had someone that came and told us about the original porch that was on the back. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go on a little bit of a... a Mission. Yeah, to see if we can try and find what actually happened to it yep. and see if it's still actually about because it may be still about. Yeah, that well would be, be good. Yeah, so we're going to try and do a little bit more research about that um, and just get it back to how it actually was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the interesting videos coming up with the history. Yes. They are, Lucy, you are amazing. Thank you so, so much because honestly, it's just the best birthday present ever. It mm -hmm. is. With obviously the chateau's got links to Versailles. Mm. And it's got an actual link, an actual, actual link to Louis the Sixteenth. Yeah. Yep. A it's, proper so full on link. Exciting. So this was before you didn't know this when you've decided to go down that route. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well it's a, a mixture of like the styles of like Louis the Sixteenth, mm. Louis the Fifteenth. Napoleonic and it's all that sort it of era is. and we've yeah. got links to all of it and we can actually reference it and show it thanks to Lucy she's been absolutely brilliant yeah, with this yeah. the document that she's produced we're going to read it all out to you we're going to tell you the history of, of the chateau and I'm so I'm so excited to do that one because I think it'll be a brilliant video to do it will it will just to know that it's actually it's it's played a part in France it's not just yeah. been a a little just house. a holiday home because yeah. I think we thought it was just like a holiday one no. wasn't it where the owners just come to yeah. stay for holidays but it isn't it actually is part of French history yeah it, one of the owners mm -hmm. has an actual link to the house of Bourbon mm -hmm. yeah and his father was an aristocrat and with stop giving it all away know, it's, so <laughs> it's so exciting it's so exciting so we're gonna dig a bit more with yeah. help Lucy and we're gonna see what we can get mm -hmm. covered. one of the things that Lucy did say in the last thing in her email was that he would have approved because he had really close links to Louis the Sixteenth, yeah. yeah. he would have really approved of the work you've done there because yeah. it was his sort of style. Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant, good, good. But for right. now, but for now, we're gonna crack on with the rest of the stairs. So we need to get all the cement off. We need to repoint them uh -huh. and hopefully reset we'll have, them. <laughs> yeah, reset them. So check out that in the next video, mm -hmm. um, and you'll be able to see the whole staircase completely finished. Yep. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. If mm -hmm. you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you've got the bell click for notifications. And make sure you check out our Facebook and Instagram to find some of the amazing history of the chateau. Yep. Yeah. But for now, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.